Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about Dexcom. Dexcom G5 Mobile. Ah, but first, I've been told or asked. Don't wear the shades when you do a video. Much as I hate to submit to demands, I'll make an exception in this case. Okay. Dexcom G5 Mobile. And is it any good? Is Dexy any good? Compared to Libs? Yeah, it is. In short, to Ace. Why is it so good? The alerts, I think. Um, I've had mine attached for a week. A week? Yeah, a week. On Saturday, two days ago, I had a early morning hypo and I was fast asleep. Um, hypos usually wake me up. But in this instance, I'm not sure how low I would have gone until I did wake up. I think it was about 8 a.m. So I was, I would have, I would have woken up soon anyway. But at that time, my telephone started to buzz away on my bedside table, and I did, I didn't know what it was. I just picked it up, took a look at it, and it was Dexcom's alert telling me I was going hypo. I wasn't actually hypo. I have my low alerts set to four or 4.2, I think. So when it hits that level, I know I'm getting towards a hypo stage. So I took a look. Dexcom said I was four. Did a um, finger test, the usual old school blood test. And it was just below four. So I was going hypo. If I'd stayed asleep, I think I would have woken up at some stage, I hope, at some stage and been a lot lower. That's the magic of Dexcom. I was asleep. It woke me up. It stopped me having a bad hypo. I could have set the low alert at night to be a little bit higher than 4, maybe 4.5, 4.6 or something like that. So I have more time to deal with any low as it comes along. The thing is 4.5, 4.6, it's not, it's not especially low, it's not a hypo. So do I want things waking me up at that stage? Ideally, I want to wake up and be 4.5 or 4.6 and have a fasting blood glucose like that. So I'm not sure that I'd want that. I'm more comfortable in the fives to sixes, admittedly. But you can, you know, play with your numbers and work with what's best for you. And that's the thing with Dexcom. You can set the alerts to be where you want it. You can set the alerts to wake you or notify you when your sugars are going high quickly, ascending quickly, or going too low too quickly. Um, there's no need to scan a sensor on the arm like you might with lips, like you do with lips. It's just continuously there. It's always on your phone. Even on my Samsung Galaxy S8, which is what I'm filming this on, on the locked page, it still tells you what your blood glucose is. And it's exact. In seven days, it hasn't been out of line at all. Maybe 0.1 millimoles, 0.2 or something like that as, as it's catching up. With Libs, it's not exact. There's been gaps. Um, there's been huge gaps between what Libs is telling me I have, blood glucose wise, and what my actual blood glucose has been. If you look at my earlier videos in 2017, I did make a couple of videos that complained about those sensors because of them being five or six millimoles out. Anyway, I can't, I can't judge Dexcom on that just yet because this is sensor number one. It's been on me a week, it's been perfect, um, I'm now into the second week with it. 
They're supposed to last for seven days. Um, all I did was start the sensor again. Um, I've taped it all up, so it shouldn't come loose anytime soon, I hope. And I think that's the issue with Dexcom. It's not the life of the sensors. It's They just start to fall off your skin at some stage. But so far, so good. Um, I hope that it will last at least two weeks, because if it does, that will compare a Dexcom sensor will compare with the cost of a lip sensor. Just there's kind of a you know ish ballpark figure there, but they should compare. But that is only because I'm a new customer to Dex and I got quite a big discount. The next time I buy the sensors, it's going to cost a bit more, and I suspect it will be quite a bit more than the cost of buying lip sensors. But if you can get them funded on the NHS or you can get the discount, do it because Dexcom is amazing. There's still a place for these things, I think, definitely. Um, if you can get them NHS funded, take them, absolutely. If you can afford to buy them, buy them as well. If you don't need alarms in the evening when you're sleeping or when you're working, you can, you've got good hypo awareness or good hyper awareness as well, then lips could be the one for you. My hypo awareness and hyper awareness is usually good. But I still love the alerts. I still love the fact that I don't need to think about it. Yesterday, as an example, I was on the exercise bike and if you Follow me on Twitter and Insta. Yeah, I'm doing the whole exercise thing at the moment. Anyway, that's something else. I was on the exercise bike, and before jumping on, my blood glucose was 7.6, and flatline, basically flatline, according to Dex. Um, as the exercise went along, towards the end of the session, Dex started to alert me. But it alerted me that I was heading low quickly, not that I was hypo. So I could stop and deal with that before having a hypo. If I was using the lip sensor and I had to scan my arm, I'd have to stop the exercise, take my phone, find the app. You don't need to do that with Dexcom. It's a good piece of kit. So to close, if you can afford it, if you can get it funded, take Dexcom. Definitely. It's way, way, way better than anything else out there. Okay, that's the end of the video for today. Um, if you'd like to be a sub, all you need to do is click over here. And if you'd like to watch another video, then there'll be one over here somewhere too. And if you want to leave a comment down below, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.